I want to talk to you, Courtney, about some stocks other than these big tech names that people should look at, maybe even be uh, owned before they report this week. Yeah, I think there's some really interesting names. Probably one of the most um, stocks that I, we're, we're kind of looking at right now. At the end of the week, we have Caterpillar coming out. And there's so much uncertainty this year. I'm getting a lot of questions with the election, a second wave of the virus. It's all of these things coming up. But you mentioned this earlier. We have gold doing well. So our mining companies are going to be meeting, needing more equipment. But just regardless of what happens in the election, it's a bipartisan issue that they want to get an infrastructure bill passed. So that can really stand to benefit from these things. So I think looking at some of these things that are paying a good dividend, are a bit cheaper right now, and are a little bit less um, affiliated with some of the uh, short-term uncertainties can really be a good play right here. Uh, and Caterpillar, the last two weeks, the tape action has been absolutely phenomenal. It acts like mm -hmm. it's a buy. Let's talk about this market because we're at, uh, the NASDAQ is up now. S&P is higher, and the, the Dow's on the cusp of going positive for the year. Uh, Courtney, I want to ask your thoughts on the five, next 5% 5 move in this market. Do we all see all these major indices break out big time, and then you've got to chase it, or do we finally pull back? I, I'd have to say there's more potential surprises to the positive right now. We have so many people worried about what the next shoe to drop is, whether it's coronavirus or an election. There's so many things people are worried about, but they're really not pricing in all of the upside potential. Like, maybe a vaccine coming to play, maybe the election really not having an effect, but all the cash on the sidelines of all these people waited, waiting to get back in. I think we're really starting to see these dips get bought up so quickly. And I think there's probably more upside that people are not anticipating, which I actually see as a really positive as we look forward here. Yeah, buying begets buying. There's no doubt about it. There's some pent-up anxiety. A lot of professionals have missed this rally. Uh, Courtney, uh, this week, what What's going to determine the outcome on Friday at 4 o'clock uh, when we look back? What will we see move the markets the most this week? I think earnings are going to be a big week this week. There's no doubt about that. And a lot of earnings are really not expected to do well, but it's really just seeing what that trend is going forward. Are we starting to see things pick up? Are we seeing companies optimistic about the rest of the year? Because realistically, the markets don't care are things good or bad right now. They think they care are things getting better? Are they getting worse? And if things are getting better, I think we will continue to see that upwards trend this week. So we have a lot of companies coming up. So it's definitely something to keep our eye on.